getting into phds now once you have qualified your net and jrf getting into a good university choosing your phd program becomes very very important so when you are focusing on your phd admissions what is important is you have to choose a list of universities that you are actually interested in many of them waive students who are already qualified for net and they directly call them for an interview some of those have both the written and the interview examination so it varies from university to university that you want to apply when you are applying for your uh, admissions you have to fill in the application form and with the application form what is very very essential is in many of the universities you have to submit your research proposal along with that so if you are directly sitting for an interview your research proposal would be checked and read prior to you being called for an interview so it's very very essential that you have a clear framework in mind what is an area of research that you want to proceed what area I actually interests you and you want to see yourself in future working on similar topics that is essential the next is when you are writing your research it's very very important that you are critical in analyzing so you are able to pick out the loopholes of the existing research bring in new thoughts new ideas touch uh, some of the unexplored areas and it's not just doing a creative writing it's far away from a creative writing it's much more critical writing we could say the next is arrangement of the thoughts so once you have the proposal you have to have a clear framework of the chapterization so this is a broader picture of what i want to research and these are the things that i would be touching during my research so that is what is known as chapterization so you are able to streamline your thoughts it's similar to keeping something systematic in your wardrobe so you have a sections that you categorize and similar uh, similarly works with your thesis so you have the sections where you have to classify okay the chapter one would be so and so chapter two would be so and so and hence forward the next is interview now there are two interviews that you would face obviously one is while you are submitting your research proposal and being called for a phd entrance and the next major interview would be when you are defending your phd thesis so both of these interviews i would say would be equally important because you would have to have more or less uh, the similar knowledge the only idea is over the course of your phd your knowledge in that area would widen up so in the first go let's say if you are asked about an interview question uh, which you do not know how would you uh, reflexly answer that question a very good answer could be i am yet to do a research so i would be exploring these areas and i would be touching these areas during my research indeed that is a very good suggestion from your side is another answer that you can give and this is something that did not strike my mind i would try to cover my research considering these aspects as well thanks for the suggestion so those are kind of inputs that you can give and be a kind of much more uh, confident personality during your interview sessions the next important thing is certain general questions that would be asked would be pertaining to the proposal that you have written so most important thing is you should have read at least 8 to 10 good references in and around the topic that you are trying to mention so focus on the major works the major authors what do you think were the limitations it might be because they were conducted let's say back 50 years back or 40 years back and the development was not at par as what has been today so there could be changes in the kind of results that could be seen the kind of technology input that could be seen and it varies with the subject to subject that you are trying to do the research but for sure you must be able to pick out the uh the hidden areas of research and you must be open to understanding the inputs that are coming from others it finally depends whether you would be including them uh, including those 
inputs or not but yes you should be open to the ideas to the suggestions flowing in and that's most important so understanding where to go in a phd is essential but more essential and most essential i would say is choosing your research proposal correctly and having an in-depth idea about the concept that you would be working on and we do have a series of lectures where we have talked about the flow of your research writing the steps in your writing a research proposal so those are something that is very very essential we would be covering many more sessions have a wonderful evening